I'm uh, here today with my elephant ride that is uh, Joe, Nathan and Siobhan here and we're going to watch their very interesting video uh, for In The Water. I'll just get that playing here. Now to start off with guys, um, where this isn't in Brunswick, where, where do, this is, tell the viewers where this video took place. It took place in the Himalayas. Which part of the Himalayas though? The Himalayas are a very big um, place. It's one of the mountains. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't know the specifics of the location. Right, but it is, it is pretty astounding as we can see from these shots here. Uh, so, who, who had the idea of, of shooting there? How did this, the idea for this video come about? Uh, I was browsing through YouTube mm -hmm. and I was um, looking up some of my favourite Melbourne psychedelic bands. <laughs> yes. And I found a guy, his name's Dr. D Foothead. And um, he's pretty hard to get to actually, so hard to reach. So. I eventually found his email and sent out the song and we got chatting for ages and he liked the track and the story behind the track so he agreed to do it and at the time he was in um, India in the Himalayas. Okay, yeah. so just over email you, you sort of talked about this track and he yeah. was like I'm there I might, as, I might as well do it. Yeah. What, uh, what is the story of, of this track? It seems very sort of like this abstract like a sort of a shepherd kind of person than, than meets this figure, which we're going to see in a minute. Is that what you had in mind when you were writing, when you guys were writing the song? Um, I was, yeah, I was going the other way around. It was very, like the lyrics in the song are pretty like, um, like it's not that story based, but it's like really inspired by, you know, just love and like broken relationships. Yeah, we've all been there, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then we just, um, yeah, that's kind of the theme of the whole thing, just like these two figures. Yeah, yeah and well, about these characters, who do, do they represent something? Because there's, there's the one guy seems to be a bit of a shepherd, and then there's almost like a mountain spirit sort, sort of thing. Yeah. Is that what you, you were thinking of when you... Well, he's just sort of... The breakup has happened, and he's just trying to still make things right. Right. But she's sort of like a you know, sanguine butterfly flying around. <laughs> oh, sanguine butterfly, that's right. <laughs> yeah. The new <laughs> Yeah, that, <laughs> the new album, Sanguine Butterfly, yeah. from uh, my, my Elephant Ride. That's, yeah. um, okay, well, that, that makes it a bit more, a bit more sense. Um, yeah. And then it, it gets to, like, full trippy here, uh, yeah. <laughs> going along with uh, how, like, the, the music changes as well. Yeah. well. Was Who had the idea behind uh, having the sort of surreal kind of animations and visual effects? Was that... Yeah. Uh, Dr. D as well, or you guys? That's kind of like, uh, I think that's what he gets most of the work for. It's, it's really talented animations. And I don't know, we still haven't even figured out how he really does it yet. But, <laughs> but I, I think yeah. it's like, uh, it looks like chalk, but I think it's... He definitely reversed the colours for this part, so he would have done it on white, I think, and reversed it. Right. But I have no yeah. idea no, no, what the medium no. was, so... Have you guys made videos for other tracks you've had before, or is this sort of the, the first big production you've uh, I'm, I made one a while ago for like, like we made some tracks earlier on without, it was really just Joel and I. Right. But, um, without the full band, but um, I just made like a kind of shitty video ripping off like Creature of the Black Lagoon. <laughs> right, but it wasn't in the but Himalayas. It's not, it's not like, <laughs> Have, have you guys ever been, or are you, is the Himalayas, that's just a faraway place for you guys? Faraway place? Faraway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd love right. to go though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I'm sure there's some sort of Himalayas tourism thing you can sort of cook up mm. with, yeah. with those guys. Maybe <laughs> they spon sponsored by the mountains. Yeah. And yeah, so what is, the, is this sort of sequence supposed to represent something, or is, because it feels really climactic and... Yeah. So, when it goes into the animated part, mm. you notice like the first little animated clip is like, it hits the guy in the heart, um, so that represents, you know, yeah. this is the turmoil part of the relationship. Mm -hmm. And then he's just falling through this trippy stage where it's like, wow, what do I actually do? Yeah. And... Yeah, we come back to the Himalayas. Come back yeah. to the real foods, like the landscape and, the, yeah. Right. The animated part over the top. Okay, awesome. Mm. Um, yeah, it's... Like, the only question I sort of had at, at the end of this video was, how are you possibly going to top this with another video? <laughs> like you'd have to be literally on the top of Mount Everest to <laughs> to like beat this, really. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're kind of s struggling with that as well. Like we don't know how we're gonna. Yeah, we've got a right. new single coming out soon. 
And okay. We're talking about that now, the next clip. Okay, fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing how you, how you try and top the Himalayas. Maybe the bottom of the ocean or something. That could it's be, not, uh, could be a bad idea. Space, <laughs> yeah, the first video in outer space. You guys could definitely do yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks for the pressure. <laughs>